Hey guys, Doug here. Today is the start of our wood carving series and uh, just wanted to do a little blurb before I start. Today we're talking tools and tools can be a money pit but they don't have to be and I really want to start out this video by sharing that with you and I don't want you to be overwhelmed thinking you have to buy a bunch of things. A knife and a strop and a piece of wood is going to get you going and to me that's one of the cheapest hobbies you can actually start and with that knife and piece of wood you can make hours disappear uh, you can make shopping at fabric land fun while your wife's in the store you can whittle in your car or like I said any I carry this stuff around with me all over the place coffee breaks I car people say where do you find the time I don't find the time I make the time instead of picking up my phone 10 minutes here 10 minutes there it's it's just great and it just takes your mind off the things of life and you focus on a piece of wood and it's great but again going off off topic uh, we're gonna go home later and uh, look at a whole bunch of tools and to be fair and honest 80 percent of those tools I don't use so I want to keep it a very basic kit I don't we're going to touch on V-tools and knives and knife sizes sizes, and uh, so look at this. Can you see that? <laughs> okay, Ben. Come on. Well, that was interesting. The deer didn't even know I was, uh, or I, I spooked the deer by my talking. Anyway, the point is, we're going to go over a whole bunch of tools, but I want to keep it basic. I want to keep it within reach of uh, new guys to start. Some people say I, uh, I can't afford to buy the tools, and mm, if you look at what you spend a month on silly things, I'm sure everybody can, can start this. So That said, uh, the tools don't make the carver the the person makes the carver and that's his familiarity with the wood practice 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 you know and uh, a tool that he can sharpen and that's what makes the carver so as we get into this series I want you to just focus on basics and don't be overwhelmed with the whole tool rack of tools that uh, aren't so, being used that said uh, let's go home hit the carving room and uh, go over some basic tools one of the most common questions that I get asked is what knife should I buy? And I can only assume that you are following along with the tutorials and you carve like I carve. So a couple things that uh, I want to take in consideration is what you're going to be carving. I've said, uh, you know, if you want to carve something like this or if you want to carve something like this, you're not going to use a little three-quarter inch knife to carve him and you're not going to use a two and a quarter inch knife to carve him so since we're keeping this basic I really want to uh, narrow it down and just give you where I've come to right so I can only tell you from my experience I have well 20 knives laid out here and it's ridiculous and the truth is, in the last couple months, I've probably only picked up this knife, which is the same as this knife, okay? And the, this is an inch and three-quarter inch. Uh, they're rough out knives. They're not even detailed knives. But uh, most of my carvings are with this knife. And all of these sit bored. And I'll tell you, the mindset that I have with uh, using the one knife of this size is that I spent the first year or so with an inch and a half and all these brands I'll stop and go on a little tangent about the the names like FlexCut makes good tools, OCC Tools, Drake, Helvey uh, there's lots of great knife makers out there and I don't want to uh, to recommend a particular knife but I use a Helvey probably more often than than not okay so I haven't tried all the brands the truth of the matter is you get what you pay for 
the grinds of the knives we'll deal with more when we get to the stropping and the sharpening uh, video but uh, when I'm using an inch and three quarter inch knife and the mindset that I have is that why get the little one inch or three quarter inch detail knife when I already have that in the tip of my knife same with the so I can go right down and I can show you uh, inch and a quarter uh, let's do this right so we got uh, two inch inch and three quarter we got two and a quarter one inch uh, what else we got anyway we've got the variety pack so uh, three quarter to one inch okay so inch and a quarter this is inch and three quarter and these are these are larger rough out knives that I rarely use and the only time you'd really want them is when you're roughing out really large pieces of wood and I don't uh, tend to do that I stick to smaller to mid-sized carvings and that's why I ended up with the inch and three quarter and I can't go on too much about this because we could be here all day but I find that I can get most work done and this is like the happy medium of all of my knives here and like I said I can only talk from experience and this is the knife I pick up now the other question you gotta ask yourself is the handle shapes and sizes so you can get big oval shapes to, to, to flats to uh, con contoured ovals there, there's just a there's a whole variety pack of different different types of handles that you can get and the honest truth is this one's even square totally square uh, this handle is not the handle it came with this was a different shaped oval and uh, I put this I taped up the blade put on the belt sander and I made it work for my hands I have pretty big paws yet a really large handle is not always comfortable so I made this my own and you may have to do that too if you get the wrong size and you're not comfortable with it but uh, a little bit of sanding and personalize it it's it's your knife you can do what you want with it so know your hand and your hand sizes if you got small hands don't buy big handles you know you want to be able to work with it for hours at a time and uh, you want to be comfortable and that's uh, again that has to line up with you and your your paws so I could go on and on and on but I don't think I'm going to we'll deal with the uh, the grinds with the stropping but as far as knives go I have found personally inch and three quarter inch knife is uh, a good all-around knife for me and if it was an inch and five eighths I could get by too so that's what I got to say about the knives now as far as what a v-tool is a v-tool is a v-shaped tool imagine that now the purpose of that is just to make V cuts and you would it's also called a parting tool and uh, you can make the same the same cuts using your knife to make V cuts right but it's uh, it's a quicker and it saves a lot of time especially when you're dealing with uh, with hair and, and whiskers and I like them also for uh, you know just outlining things before I really dig in with my knife too just to to set body parts uh, in place and whatnot so this one here is a 90 degree so let's just do this 90 degree V cut okay now they come in different uh, angles this one here is 120 degrees right so that just gives you a, a flatter a flatter V but then you can go right down to where am I here where'd it go 70 degree and that's a, a sharper a sharper V cut okay so you can see flatter 120 to 90 degree to 70 degree now to me if you're only buying one and I would buy one I like this combo of a knife and a v-tool I would go with a quarter quarter inch 
90 degree. I think that's the best all around V tool. But like I said, you can buy all different shapes and sizes, right down to little little dockyards tools. They make a little a little V tool, and I can't lie, I do find these really handy, and uh, I like to keep them around because they can work for just little little tiny little details. If I'm carving little tiny guys, sometimes even the little tiny eyes on tiny guys, I do like a, a little V tool like that. I don't really deal with them a lot in my day-to-day -day carving, except for where I may come into it. It would be when I want to make a proper proper eye socket. So I'm just going to touch quickly on these. You know, there's gouges come by numbers, and the same idea with the V tool being a quarter inch or half inch. A number three this big is also a number three this big, and it, it's just the the width of the radius that uh, it covers. So if I'm dealing with, uh, say I got two number nines here, well that's gonna do that wide. This is still a number nine, and that number nine bottoms out there. Well this one does that to the extent of the three quarter inch that it is still number nine so a small number nine and a larger number nine they work like these are threes threes are they, they're almost they're almost flat so it works up from there so the higher the number the more radius like uh, number 11 you can see that is a deep deep gouge all right and like i said for my carvings I would mainly use these if I want to do real proper eyes and really set in the eye sockets but I don't use them too often but starting to a little bit more and you'll see them come up so I just wanted to go over them quickly and uh, just talk about them that the size half inch one inch it's it's the same number it's just the different size so if I want to do a smaller carving and set an eye socket with the number nine and I want to do a carving four times as big and set the eye socket it's still a number nine bigger tool bigger carving right so not going to go too detailed other than that like i said number three is a number three is a number three and uh yeah that's about all i really want to talk about that not necessary never use them in the past just starting to a little bit now as i get a little bit more detailed with some of my carvings but uh, yeah not for my everyday use and just a couple things I want to mention honorable mentions are skew chisels all they are is basically an angled angled blade you know all different shapes and sizes and uh, yeah they uh, to me they're to get into real hard to reach places or just a little bit of cleanup if you want to just just get it in a little area that you just can't quite get and you want to just take a little chip out of there you know a little little cleanup but rarely if ever do I use them but these are all things like I said you buy them you try them same thing this is a totally flat little little chisel and uh, yeah you can you can do some carving with it you can also slide it up where you couldn't get your knife on an angle you can fit between between things and, and just kind of clean up that way nice to have again never use it so many things that, like that I don't use funny looking blades so let's just back right up now and just say all this aside basic tool set is an inch and three quarter inch knife for me and a 90 degree quarter inch V tool I think that will keep you going for years, years to come before you need anything else. In fact, you may never ever need any other tools than these two. So maybe one little honorable mention, all these things are covered in uh, little dockyard tools. These are micro tools for really tiny carving. I find them handy. You've got your V tools and your gouges and uh, they do come in handy with tiny carvings in like I said, there's just miniatures of everything here and uh
yeah they do have a they have a home but not necessary for basic carving all right so i think that's where we're going to call it today with just the basic tools and uh next video up is going to be about maintaining these tools and then we're going to move into the materials and cuts and whatnot so thanks for sticking along sticking around this long and uh i'll catch you guys on the next one see ya